Painting the structural steel of your project is a very crucial job. In this video, we are gonna show you what is the proper procedure for painting the steel structure. But before that here is an intro. Title. Method statement for applying for protective coating in the factory. Purpose. This procedure is applicable for applying the paint in the factory. This procedure is purely based on the manufacturer's recommendations and the guidelines in the Structural Steel Painting Council. Scope. This procedure is written in compliance with the manufacturer's recommendations. The guidelines in SSPC, Society for Protective Coating, Volume 2 Good Painting Practice Manual and Project Specification. References. 1. SSPC Volume 2, Good Painting Practice. 2. Paint Manufacturer Specification. 3. ISO 8501 1.4. 4. ISO 8501 3.5. 5. ISO 85026 and 9. General. 1. Paint Specification. As per customer spec, the project requires a single coat fast dry paint system, with blast clean up to SA 2.5. Here is the tabulation. Coat. One coat. Surface preparation. SA 2.5. Paint name. Any approved paint. Coating thickness. DFT. 75 microns. Paint finish shade. Light gray. 2. Surface preparation. Surface shall be shot blasted to SA 2.5, as per spec, for the mainframe members, and as per contractual and PIF requirements and proposal offer. The steel shot of different sizes, shall be mixed in the specific proposition, to get the optimum cleanliness in the automatic blast cleaning process in, steel structure supplier, steel automatic blasting machine is designed with six flywheels with three at each side, the flywheels are oriented with different directions to cover 100% of the surface during blasting. The member shall be cleaned by compressed air by the blasting machine operator to clean the dust. The visual blasting quality and the cleanliness will be inspected visually to confirm the quality requirements are met as per the applicable code. The blasting profile is maintained around 45 to 60 micron for proper adhesion of the paint system. The blasting profile is permanently recorded with Testex replica tape as per ISO 85035 and roughness comparator for assessing blast clean surface as per ISO 85031. 3. Paint mixing. The paint mixing shall be as per the manufacturer's technical datasheet. 4. Painting. The shop floor painting shall be done by using the airless spray technique by automatic to the applicable wet film thickness, WFT in microns. The automatic painting machine is done as a two-stage scanning process. When the material enters its scan boot, the scanner will identify and scan the exiting steel surface and pass the command to the painting gun and the paint gun will spray the paint where exactly the steel surface exists this will make sure that the complete R of the steel is covered during the automatic paint application process. Even though the process is automatic, there are some locations where the paint cannot get access, but those locations are touched by using semi-automatic airless spray paint gun by the operators since the painting is automatic. This results in consistent coating thickness with very limited variations in the paint. The recommended parameters shall be as per the paint technical datasheet. The required wet film thickness shall be calculated from the below formula in reference to the technical datasheet for the volume of solids and paint system for required dry film thickness as per contract WFT, is equal to, desired DFT, over, percent volume of solids, over, 100% plus percent thinner added, the recoding interval depends on the ambient temperature, the recoding interval shall be followed, as per the technical data sheet. 5. Specified coating condition, A. Painting is prohibited under heavy rain, snow, sand storm, and wind to avoid solid particle entrapment, to minimize the wastage of the paint b when the error metal temperature is down to within three degrees centigrade above the dew point temperatures d when the error metal temperature is below five degrees centigrade the solvent evaporates very slowly at low temperatures d when the substrate temperature is above 50 degrees centigrade d when the relative humidity is more than 90 percent the dew point temperature and relative humidity are monitored by a whirling hygrometer or psychrometer the substrate temperature is recorded by using a magnetic limpet gauge these values are recorded three times a day internally to control specified conditions for painting. 6. 
Paint thickness measurement 6.1 Wet film thickness The paint thickness may be measured immediately after application by use of a wet film thickness gauge. The WFT gauge shows the values in microns on the four edges of the gauge. The appropriate side shall be selected for the inspection. The selected side shall be placed in contact with the freshly painted substrate and gentle pressure applied to press the gauge edge into the wet coating while applying the pressure gently. The gauge should not be allowed to skip or move from the inspection location as such movement will cause paint damage. The WFT gauge should be withdrawn vertically and touched to a flat white paper pad. Note the deepest tooth having paint on it and the next higher tooth that is not coated with paint. The true wet film thickness lies between these two readings. The gauge should be cleaned with solvent after each use. 6.2 Dry Film Thickness The DFT, dried paint thickness, may be measured once the painted surface is fully cured and dried. An Elcometer 456 can be used to measure the coating thickness. This instrument displays a digital reading which reflects the coating thickness in microns. The spot measurement shall be conducted, and the average values shall not be less than the required dry film thickness. The more detail of the DFT measuring technique is available in the inspection procedure. 7. Repair procedure. Any mechanical damages shall be prepared with suitable power tool cleaning such as flat disc grinders, chippers or wire brush or manual cleaning is applicable to practical existing conditions in accordance with ISO 85043. The surface is prepared, shall be at least 25 mm excess area than the actual are required, to provide overlap of 25 mm, the adjacent area shall be protected to avoid any additional damages during dressing the damaged area. The surface shall be left roughly abraded, but burnished surface is not acceptable. 7.1. Coating damage not exposing the substrate surface. The preparation for this type of damage shall be carefully addressed, to not to damage the undamaged coating, oil and grease contamination shall be thoroughly cleaned with solvent, and any traces of dust due to preparation, shall be manually cleaned by clean cotton cloth wet with thinner to ensure all the oil and dust are completely removed on the dressed area. The edges of the prepared area, shall be feathered to a gradual slope to make sure the proper adhesion and continuity of the coating. 7.2. Coating damage exposing the substrate surface the damaged area shall be cleaned thoroughly to meet the SA 2.5 quality requirement. The prepared area shall be 25 mm excess than the actual required area to make sure to remove all loose coating and the edges to be feathered for improved adhesion and appearance and the full painting system as applicable shall be applied on the surface. That's it for the method statement for the application of the protective coating in the factory. If you want to learn about method statement for painting works you can watch this video and if you want to learn about method statement for anti-termite treatment you can click this video here. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you won't miss our new updates. Thanks for watching.